Hello everyone, in today's video I will show you how easy it is to create your very own Lineage 2 Java server. With this step-by-step -step guide created by the L2J Mobius team, you will easily create your own server and experience Lineage 2 like never before. So let's get started and bring your dream server to life. First of all, you have to go to l2jmobius.org, head over to the website's forum and access the useful free section. There you'll find a free and easy to follow guide called Project Installation that will walk you through 9 simple steps to create a fully functional server. With this guide you can have your very own Linux server up and running in no time. So you will need to download and install these three programs. We have the GDK17, which is a software development kit for Java applications. Uh, Eclipse, which will help you download and create the server files, the login server and the game server. And then you have the XAMPP, which is a cross-platform web server solution that includes Apache and MySQL, which is needed to host and run the server locally on your machine. So the first step is to download and install the GDK17 and I'm going to skip this since I've already installed it on my PC and really it's just a straightforward installation with next, next, next and finish. So let's move to the second step which is to download and extract Eclipse. It's recommended to install Eclipse on C-Eclipse and you will need to set the workspace to C Eclipse workspace. If you're doing this for the first time you won't have any items here on the top left corner this is basically because I have other projects uh, installed on my PC. Uh, to make sure that you're using the proper Java version from the Eclipse menu, go to Window, Preferences, Java and Installed GREs. If you cannot see your GDK installation folder in this list, you can just add it by pressing the Add button. Now you'll have to go to Window, select Show View and click on Other and from the folder GIT select JIT repositories and then you'll have this section here on the screen and from the JIT repositories window click clone a JIT repository at URL type the link from the guide and click next to time to get to this screen where at the directory paste the path from the guide which is C Eclipse Workspace L2J Mobius then just click finish and wait for the cloning to complete uh, you can see the progress here in the right bottom corner and on my end it usually takes around 50 minutes to complete so you'll have to have some patience with this. After the cloning is complete, from the JIT repositories double click on the L2J Mobius master. Double click on the working tree and choose what project of Chronicle you want to install for your server. In this case I will choose the L2J Mobius classic intro because I've always wanted to try this Chronicle. So I'm going to right click on it, choose import projects and then the finish button. Once you do that, your project will appear at the top under package explorer. So now you will have to compile the project and to do that from the package explorer, double click on your project, right click on the build.xml, go to run as and click on one and build. Uh, you'll have to wait for the build successful message in the console and don't worry, this will only take a minute to complete. Once that's done, you can just go ahead and take your server files from C, Eclipse, Workspace, L2J, Mobius, Build folder. And you can just copy it to any drive uh, and in this case I'm just going to paste it here in the C drive next to the other projects. Once you unzip this archive, you will have these folders and a text document that says README. On this document, you will always find the download links for the game client and the system patch folder. To unzip the client, you will need this password, L2J Mobius. Uh, before you continue with the server installation, I recommend you to download the game client and the system patch folder. The next step is to install and open the XAMPP and then start the Apache and MySQL. Before you connect to the server, you will have to install the databases for the login server and the game server. So go to the project folder, in my case, C, L2J Mobius, and open the DB installer folder. I'm going to sort these by type and to just go ahead and run the VPS script file for database installer LS, which is the login server. I recommend you not to change anything else here, just click and connect and wait for it to install each database. And then you will have to do the same with the database installer GS. Uh, the final step is to start your server and you will need to start the login server first. 
followed by the game server. In the project folder, open the login folder and run login server VPS VBS script file. Then go back and open the game folder and run the game server VPS script file and wait for the server to start. So I will actually go ahead and create shortcuts for the login server and the game server so that whenever I want to start the server, I will have these uh, two shortcuts on the desktop and basically make it easier to connect to the server. Uh, until the server starts, I will go ahead and prepare the game client. So I will copy the files that I've downloaded using the links from the readme files and put them on the main drive and extract the files. All you have to do next is to connect to the server. So open the game client, paste the system patch folder and open it. Scroll down and run l2.exe and connect to your server. Accounts are also created. As a bonus, I will show you how to make yourself a GM. So open the XAMPP control panel, click on admin from MySQL, and it will open this page where you will have access to your server database. Now click on your database. In my case, L2J Mobius Classic Interlude, scroll down and click on characters. This is the list with all the accounts from the servers. You can edit or delete an account or see general information about it. So I'm going to click on edit next to my account, scroll down to where it says access level. And here I'm going to type 100 since this is the highest GM rank. For more details about access levels, you can just go to your project folder, game config and open the access level document. Anytime you will make changes to your server, you will have to either restart the server or in this case, since I've just changed the access level for my account, I will have to just reload the access configuration settings. And to do that on the game server, go to reload and then choose access. All right, so let's re-log into the account. And as you can see, I am now a GM and I can open the GM menu by typing admin. And since you're going to be using this command a lot, it's better to just create a macro with it so that whenever you want to access the GM menu, you don't have to type admin all the time. Uh, and that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hit the like button if you haven't so far. For more cool stuff about Lineage 2 servers, you can visit the L2J Mobius forum. Thanks for watching until the end and also I want to give a special thanks to the L2J Mobius team for this easy to follow guide and for making all of these files available for us to play with. Subscribe to the channel for more Lineage 2 content and I'll see you in the next one.